Hi homeschool friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kylie, a homeschool mom to three. We've been homeschooling since 2007. We have recently completed the entire Life of Fred elementary books. So today, I thought I'd take the opportunity to share them all with you. Now, I am missing, I think the first four, I need to go and double check that. And that is because I thought it was time to move them on. This is not a cheap program, especially if you're here in Australia. So I figured once we had finished with them, it was time to move them on. But this is basically the entire Life of Fred elementary series. Before I flip the camera around, I'll just give you a little insight into the Life of Fred program itself. Life of Fred is story-based math. It's fun, quirky, comical, lighthearted. It's a great math program to look at. If you've got kids in your house that say those common words, oh, math, I hate math, mom. Why are we doing this math, mom? Possibly if you're getting that over and over and over again, it might be time to look at something different. And this is where Life of Fred could potentially be an option for you. Overall, if you look at reviews online of this program, you will find the bulk of them are relatively positive. It does get some mixed reviews. It is a quirky program and there are going to be some kids that may roll their eyes at this and go, what on earth? I, I think that's just being honest about it. It's written in this from a five-year-old's point of view. And at times, some of the things he comes out with are kind of weird. Some of the things he does are kind of strange. Um, we've learned to laugh with Fred through the stories, but some children may find it just a little bit over the top and a little bit too out there. So in a nutshell, Fred, the main star of the Life of Fred series, is a five-year-old university professor. Yep. You heard that right. He's a five-year-old university math lecturer. And this is basically just his story. And the story seemed to cover every minute of his day. If I remember correctly, I think each book is a day in his life, maybe a couple of days. But each book follows all of Fred's antics and everything he does is brought back to some kind of mathematical concept. These are written by Dr. Stanley Smith. He is a retired college math professor and his goal with writing the series was to have kids think mathematically and understand all the math concepts that they need, but to have fun whilst they're doing it. And I think for the most part, he's actually achieved that. I, I think this is a really good program. I'm glad that I invested in it. I'm glad that we worked through it. I do really think that this is a great program. So yes, we follow Fred, the five-year-old child genius who <laughs> teaches math at a university level on his adventures. And one of the great things about the fact that these books do just follow Fred on his day-to-day -day life is that the children are seeing how much math we are exposed to in our day-to-day -day life. Every single concept, every single activity that the kids do within the Fred books will relate to something that Fred does or something that happens to Fred as he goes about his day. Whether that be deciding that he wants to purchase a fish and he needs to start working on area and perimeter for his fish tank, the space it's going to take up, how much water will the fish tank hold, how heavy will the fish tank end up being once it's filled with water. That's just one small element of what the Life of Fred series covers. So what I might do is flip the camera around and I will show you inside. They're all very much the same, they just cover different topics. So I value your time. I'm not going to flip through every single book here, but I will turn the camera around and pick one of the middle books and flip you through so that you can see for yourself inside. So each book has around 18, 20 odd chapters, depending on the book. And then each 
lesson or each chapter in the book is broken down to the story component and then it has a section called your turn to play where the kids can on a whiteboard chalkboard piece of paper in a notebook actually do some of the problems together so let's flip the camera around and we will have a look through one of these books let's have a look inside of the ice cream book this one is book five or six, so it's roughly in the middle of the elementary series. So here you can see he gives detailed contents page covering exactly what is discussed inside each chapter because you can't always tell by the name of the chapter, chapter one entitled Sunshine, what is going to be covered inside. Sometimes they try to connect a little bit. Um, he does get a bit creative in his chapter titles, but of course the title of the chapter comes back to what Fred is actually getting up to in that part of his day. So this particular one starts halfway through a story that was already being told in the book Prior, and that comes uh, and that is about Fred's sleeping bag so we work our way through the story he's always bringing it back to the math quite often he'll pop in little bits and pieces of information that he feels that children should know I have seen a few negatives come up about this because he's inflicting his own personal values in things. So some of you may take some slight issues to that. It doesn't concern me in any way. This is one person's opinion. I believe that we should be exposed to a wide variety of opinions, even those that conflict to ours, so that we can formulate our own thoughts and opinions. Then he will give examples of what we're actually focusing on here. And then we move into the your turn to play section. So this is where the children will either have some type of composition book or exercise book that they'll write in. You might choose to use just simply a whiteboard, a piece of paper, notepad, chalkboard. That part is whatever basically is up to you. So you work through the child's turn to play and then he gives you the answers here on this page. And sometimes, not every single lesson, he will throw in a little bit of extra basic, simple uh, practice problems. And then each chapter follows the same pattern. always more than math covered in these books uh, which I actually quite enjoy because there's always lots of little extra bits and pieces of information that the author throws in for us. So it follows that same pattern all the way through. I'll take you to the end. And then this gives you quite a thorough index page so that there is something in particular that you're looking for you can genuinely find it here. And whether that be actual math concepts or <laughs> polishing leather shoes, uh, I would assume on that page, he's given some type of description about how to polish leather shoes. Yeah, and that brings us to the end of Life of Fred Ice Cream. So each book in the elementary series is pretty much identical. Of course, the concepts being covered and the story changes with each book as well as life, as as Fred progresses throughout his days. So I think one of the negatives as well to Life of Fred is that there isn't a huge amount of problems. And so some children just need more. They just simply need more. And I understand when people raise that as an issue. However, I've also used a little bit of Life of Fred with my older child. And as the books progress through the years, there are a lot of extra problems. And when it comes to the elementary range, I just personally don't think 
that the kids need any more than this. I think they're getting enough. And for most cases, it's really easy for us as the parent educator to come up with a few extra problems. So there is going to be a far cry between how much sit down written math a child is going to be doing using Life of Fred versus a regular homeschool math curriculum. Definitely. And some of you may not cope with that. Some of you may think this is just no, 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 not enough. But I think the trade-off with Life of Fred and a regular math program is that most kids are actually going to love doing this. For most kids, it's not going to be the dread involved with mathematics that we can often find with our regular standard old math programs. And so this is where Life of Fred shines. I hope that was valuable. I hope you enjoyed that flip through. If you do like other curriculum flip throughs, I will pop a playlist on the screen for you where I share all the other curriculums I have flipped through. I've also got just regular book flip throughs on my channel as well. So pop on over and check those out. If you have any questions about the Fred program, please pop them in the comments field below. I'd love to chat with you more. Thanks so much for being here today. Until next time, bye for now.